All right, welcome back to our second episode of the Moonlighter Let's Play. Would you, wouldn't you know it, I'm actually doing two things at once, and I'm continuing to do them both at the same time. Uh, last time we came, we were playing, we uh, just came back from a successful dungeon run, playing around in there, getting our stuff on. We had a good sell, so I think we're going to see if we can't get these guys going. Uh, get the Vulcan's Forge here. This will help with uh, armor and weapons that we can use to get us nice and strong in the later dungeons. Beautiful, look at that. And uh, that guy built that in one night. What a guy. Uh, and then we're going to look at the wooden hat as well, because it doesn't cost us too much. We're still just above 2,500 smackers. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. And there it is. Uh, that guy's a busy man. Building two buildings at once. Um, I think we'll, we'll, we'll check him out. So let's talk to Andre here. Hey, you must be Will. They all sound the same. The one requested my forge. My name is Andre, forge master extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Alright. So we got some armor, swords and shields, big swords, spears, gloves, and bows. Uh, spears are nutty. So we definitely want to get these um, big boy spears here. We need... So we can see... We can add it to the wish list. Nice. Um, and you can see we need a spear. This spear... So actually, ah, um, <laughs> uh, remove. Okay, we need this first. So we need foundry, foundry rests, I think, and then one more of those purple deals, and we have the rods already. So we need four foundry rests. I don't know how far into the go gob, goblin, golem dungeon we need to go <laughs> to get those, but we will find them. And then I want to try gloves as my other uh, thing. So it looks like we need eight foundry rests, eight of those purple shards, and um, eight plus six is 14. So 14 rods, eight of those, and eight of those. Okay. So we can look into that. Oh, I think he wants us to buy something because he has this for sale. Or no. Yeah. Okay. Now he's gone. Alright. I think that just meant, like, we can afford that. But. Oh, interesting. Where is she? What? Oh, it's all the way down here. Okay. We'll talk to her. I think she gives potions and stuff? Eris. Oh, uh, a customer. My apologies. It's just this book. Ah, it's so good. It's probably a Attack on Titan manga, if I had to make a guess. Okay, yes, I'm Eris, Weaver and Potion Master. Come to the Wooden Hat when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want to craft today? So we got potions. We can make big boy health potions. Um, 40 health, 75 health. Definitely worth the price. And then restores 200 health. It would have been nice to have this when I ran into that creature. The witch has outdone herself here. Okay, so these require a jelly and jelly. And they are expensive. Why is this... What? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, we got more here. Uh, fireflies will guide the user to the next floor of the desert dungeon. Okay, spoilers, I guess. Um, oh, you want us to chat? What do you got? Enchantments? Oh, yes, and we can enchant our spears and stuff to give us more... Movement speed or damage, armor, defense, sort of stuff like that, I think, uh, that we can use there. Uh, awesome. Okay. So, let us go put our stuff away. Oh, hello. Yep, all right. Go put our stuff away in the moonlighter here. And then we will make another trek to the dungeon. Um, oh, I see. Okay, so the wish list gives me... Um, the ability to 
choose or it shows me what I need for the for my wish list, which is very nice. Okay, so we got our sword sword and shield, and we got our broom. Let's make our way to the dungeon. We're still in the golem dungeon, so we will see here about that. Let's jump on in. Alrighty. I say left. Oh. Oi, oi, oi. Oh my gosh, dude. Excuse me? <laughs> okay. Jeez. That was brutal. Okay, so these have curses on them, which means they can only be placed in certain areas in your bag, so sort of like that. Um, I think these can also go, yeah, but these are really valuable. I don't know about the pots. They're not as valuable as foundry rests, but we're not selling those, so those can stay in there for a while. Uh, it looks like that slows us down. I don't remember if there's a specific way to get out of those guys. Wait, what did I just pick up? What is that? Water sphere. A bubble? Just call it a bubble. Okay, we got a big boy here. We gotta show him respect. Ow. That's what happens when you don't show him. Oh, big boy crystal. Hello, empowering. You are worth nothing okay maybe you are used for something else yeah you're in the merchant section so that might be something else we need oh nice I think I need that for something okay we have just entered like scary mode okay what's this guy doing Nice. Okay. Sorry, I went I went silent. Radio silent there for a second. We got a crystal rock. These are worth stuff. Oh wait, what? I think these are worth more than broken swords. Yeah. Okay. Um, where are you lining up? You're not worth much. Okay. So we, this is the stuff that will stay with us if we die. Um, this is the stuff that we keep outside of the dungeon. Uh, not that we're going to die, because obviously I'm a G. But, I'm still warming up with the controls a little. I had to mess with them. What is that? Um, I say go. Where will this lead? Oh, the suspense is killing me. Okay, Wanderer Dungeon. Ow. Oh, it does, like, poison. <gasps> nice! Okay, um... This is more important to me. I got four of them. I can craft a spear or gloves now with that. So that is very valuable. In fact, I should probably focus on living. Uh... Oh, gosh. Oh my gosh, don't switch weapons. <laughs> Stop switching weapons. You're not dead. Hold. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought that was going to kill me. <laughs> okay. Do these not... Oh. These have a different curse on them. Okay, they're going to take the Water Sphere spot, and those aren't super valuable. I'm leaving. We got what we came for. I'm out of here. I'm out of health potions. Whoo! We got ourselves eight foundry rests. Just what we needed. Holy cow, that was awesome. Okay. We're going to make another trip 
Um, well, we have a little bit of stuff to sell, actually. So we might be... It might be worth us taking the day off to sell some stuff. It is daytime already. So we're getting not as good stuff in the dungeon right now. So I think let's check out... This is the inventory with our wishlist stuff. So let's set this over here. It stacks in fives. So that's infuriating. Uh, these are worth selling. These are worth selling. This isn't worth anything. Um, yeah, so let's... Is there a, okay, can I grab... It's a hold. You hold it. We're just gonna kinda... What are these called? Teeth stones. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda... It's my Minecraft mind right here. Organize this stuff in the weirdest way possible, but it's fine. Okay, and what do we have over here? Nothing. Okay. Everything in my inventory is worth selling. So let's get it on. Uh, place that, place this, place this, and then place this. So those all have prices already from last time. So let's open up the Moonlighter. Yes, hello, Granny. Welcome back. You seem to be an avid customer of mine. Well, but not today. You don't want anything. Let's see what she's going to take here. She enjoys the Golem Sphere. Happy to give it to you. Ah, oh, yes, and the crystallized energy also going. Granny, not sure. She's still contemplating things. Be careful. You might lose out on what we got over here today. <laughs> uh, everything is selling beautifully. Okay, let's see. This is worth more than the iron bar, less than a hundred. And put this out here for a hundred. Just to see if it sells at a hundred. And then one of these is worth just under 275, so I think we can probably go 250. Just try that. For whatever that piece of paper that looks like a there's a Pokemon. What Pokemon does that look like to me? I'm not good at names of Pokemon. Oh, but I nail it. First try, baby. Sell it. Why don't we add this to the pile? And then, what are you looking like? You're more than this, so we'll see based on her reaction to that. It's way too much. Okay. Uh, but the copper coins, gold runes, whatever, they sold. So, I'm going to think think we're going to go to 75. And then we will sell, these are more than that, so we'll go, um, these are 100, if these are 75, and we'll say 100 for these as well, just in case. Don't want to get, don't want to get those gold eyes, because then you know, like, oh, I underselled. So, okay, nice, 75 looks good for the walnut, um, very good. We're getting flushed with cash. All right, Granny's come back for the sphere, and we nailed it with the hundred. Beautifully done. Okay, I am out of stuff in my inventory, and I'm not selling any of this junk. Actually, I could probably sell this. I didn't sell on wish list for either of my thingies. Let's see. You are. Uh, let's go one ten. Huh. All right, he's he sees it. He's eyeballing it. What's he thinking? He's na I nailed it. So this is the best reaction, which means it's like the best possible price. But there are other reactions that you can get that are like, it's too much, but I'll still pay for it because I need it kind of thing. Um, so get a good look at that. We made two thousand bucks, and we weren't really even going for stuff. So that's pretty great. Uh, we're empty in inventory. Um, can I... Whoops. If I go in here, can I, like, unequip this entirely? Because I keep switching to it when I don't mean to. Maybe I should... Just for nostalgia. We put the broom spear away. I need health potions. Oh, sorry. So let's go try to find some of those from the wooden hat lady. Uh... 
I think I can craft them from her as well, but I can just buy them straight up. So, um, I'm confused. Maybe this is the, oh, this is like to craft it myself, and then this is... Oh, wait, what? I'm confused by this, but you want to brew one potion one. Okay, so I got five of those, or I can pay a hundred. How did I do this? Oh, so I can pay money for it, or I can use slimes for it. I get it now. Oh, wait, but this still costs... Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm learning. So this is, I don't use a slime, and it costs me three times as much. This, I use a slime, and it takes away the price. So 593, or um, I paid five. Oh, yeah, okay, so we definitely just got a little, oh, my gosh, just got a little cheated there. Use the slimes from now on. We've learned, um, um, quick equip, okay, so these, I can only bring five in, that's good to know as well, let's see, so we'll put five away, since I can't have them anyway, and then it's time to go back in. Heading back into the dungeon. This time we'll go for cash. Um, and the other things on our wish list. I wonder... Here, wish list. We have training spear. We need one of the... Uh, teeth stone, I think it was called. And then... Uh, probably some money, so... We'll try to make sure that we get a teeth stone. We're not gonna go in any secret dungeon doors. And get really lucky, so... I'm lucky that I lived, I mean, because good grief. Um, but yeah, okay. Left first, as always. Just going to start that as a thing. Ah! Oh my gosh, this guy's amazing. Okay. We get a chest, though, which is nice. Uh, oh yeah, all right. Give me that. That hardened steel, I think. Okay. Oh, I really mess it up. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! I'm cracked. Okay, that was awesome. I don't think I took any damage there. Oh, more foundry rests, dude. Throw it all in here. We're not dying. I can put it wherever it needs to be. Okay, well. I didn't say I was gonna... No! Alright, well, we got the teeth stone I needed. So if, if things go awry, we can be just fine. We'll be just fine. Oh, okay. We go back. I wonder if that respawns the enemies that we didn't kill. Or that we did kill, rather. <laughs> okay. Nice. Easy as you like. Okay. Hello. This is a healing pool. So it has, like couple hundred health, I think, in it, or something. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Wow. Story... Okay, what in the world? Golem warrior. Ow. Huh! Oh. I'm gonna die. I gotta... Remember your training. 
I'm literally using my fists right now, by the way. There's more to be explored, so I think we'll be okay for a little bit longer. Heal up. I think yeah, we'll see how much that needs. Um, goodness gracious. Alright, we have enough for the spear. And we got more of these. I think I need... I think I needed five for the other thing on my wish list because I forgot to put it on there. Uh... I see you, secret door. I'm not going towards you. I want to keep going on this floor if we can fill our inventory a little bit more. Because there's like... Ouch, dude. I can't take damage from these little guys. I gotta be better. This is why I like the spear. I'm not a tank. I gotta <laughs> believe in myself a little bit better. Okay, that's my last of my health potions. Nice, it didn't even give me anything. Okay. Um, we can still go right. So we'll try that out, if at all possible. And then, yeah. We'll head on out. Come at me! Nice. How we doing? Okay, we're doing great. Woo! Too fast, too furious. I always want to pop those because there might be a health potion in there. We've seen that happen before. Okay, this is our last room. We got some to read. Today marks my first steps into the mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Rhinoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. And they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. A unique maze for each person, never the same labyrinth twice. One must ask, though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to the dungeons for their first treasure. There's no first in that sentence. Completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside, just for some gold, some fame. But not I, no. It's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what. I'm here for the how and why. Wow. What a piece of literature, eh? Take our money and go! I'd say that was a successful journey to the depths of the first floor of the Golem Dungeon. I did... We did beat that guy, and it looked like there was a door to go further down. Um, I don't know if that will be to the next floor of the Golem Dungeon, or if it goes to... Next Dungeon altogether. But anyway, let's talk to Andrew here. We should be able to craft ourselves a spear. For a thousand some dollars. And we also can... Craft the gloves. Oh, what? Oh, I don't have enough money. Okay. Well then, let me let me equip the spear here. Nice. Look at that. Sp such speed. Okay, and the range is really what I'm excited about. Um. You can change attack speed a difference all the time. I just don't like this because it, it forces you to get really close. But 
we're gonna try to get the gloves as well just for that fun factor as well all right well we will end the episode there uh hope you guys enjoyed next time we will start by running the shop and getting those gloves and then starting our next adventure with our new weapons all right I will see you guys next time. Peace.